Okay guys, welcome back. <laughs> this is this is tough. The wind here is just really ripping across here. It's 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 a headwind crosswind. Probably about 35 40 k's, really really strong. So guys, I'll just hit a few shots down here. Got a four iron here. I'll just hit a few shots down here and just have a look at what I'm doing with the lead shoulder and the trail shoulder in the pivot. Now I've got to start that ball out into the wind and try and hold it up into the wind. Swing will look a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, a bit crotchety today, guys, because I had big, big, big workout in the gym, and I am, as we say in Australia, as stiff as a crutch. Now, clearly you'll see that I'm not doing anywhere near the amount of, of, of physical movement that I'm showing in that, the, the video before this, in the explanation of the pivot. I, mean, I, I want to get that type of look, but I haven't got that yet because I've got to build that back into my golf swing. I had that years ago, 20 years ago, but... Um, it's sort of bled itself out over that period of time so I have to go back and get that so I've got all the best intentions uh, mentally but uh, physically it won't look it won't look to the extreme uh, that I was demonstrating before but it feels it feels my intention is very much that way Guys, the wind is so strong and so cold. Now, guys, they're they're, they're basically three shots that are that are the same. Um, the contact is probably 90 percent it, it feels really contact feels strong uh, just hang on walking off the stage When you're doing these home movies, guys, <laughs> it's not uh, Steven Spielberg quality production. Okay, so how do we get the feeling of this? And again, I alluded to this in the, the other videos I did recently. Guys, just get yourself a, a wedge or a 9-iron or an 8-iron or whatever. And... And if you can get, if you can, if you can actually get some weather where you've got a really strong headwind, just hit some shots, abbreviate little shots with a grip down, um, with a grip down club. But being a short swing and being, we're just going to hit a little shot out here, you know, 50, 60 meters, and. Because it's only going to be a little half backswing, we can really put a lot of pressure in the in the setup.
that's what I want you to go. I want you to get the feeling of the pressuring of that pivot. Grass is all wet here, guys. That's about 75 metre carry into that wind. Just a little half swing with a wedge. But try and feel the pressure. Feel like it's a restricted backswing. It will feel restricted for people that do, that roll into the backswing because there's no pressure or tension in a backswing like that. But once you start getting that feeling there, you'll feel a lot of tension in the middle of the body. Now guys, those two balls are a metre apart. So, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you only got the benefit of it with your pitching, if you could hit your pitch shots that accurately, your scoring would come down dramatically. Dramatically. But that's what, now, to me there's a lot of pressure in that. I'll just hit a couple this way. There's a lot of pressure in that in that in that little pivot. I've already preset that lead knee and I've got the trail knee set up as well. Now see how I've got that lead hip out of the way guys and the weight is into that into that lead leg and the trail leg is coming across at the ball. Now that's only a little, very little swing and there's only a portion of of what we what we want to get in the full swing but you've got to feel it in a smaller variation first before you can get the full the full range of motion. So set up with a lot of pressure in here. That knee, I feel a lot of pressure in that cartilage there. That knee's in here. That, that leg is turned that way, guys, and that one's turned that way. I, I neglected to mention that. This one, this one is, is angled in this way, and this one is angled in this way. So they're actually moving this way. And that's how you get that center pressure. If you move the, the knees and the upper thighs, that way, that's when you get that centre pressure, pressurisation. Now the wind coming across here is unbelievable, how strong it is, and those little shots there, they held their line into that wind as those other ones did down there. Here we go. Real lot of pressure. See that's up here guys, this one's here, that, that, the, uh, the ball of my foot has released the pressure into the outside heel. And as I say, if you can, if you can just initially, for a period of time, just work on it with the short part of the game, until you get the feeling of the centralisation of pressuring, that's what we need to get. And I neglected before to mention the, the difference in the in the rotation of the legs. This one comes this way and that one comes this way. So it's here. That's what it is. Alright I'll just just uh, just bring this up a little bit in terms of range of motion and hit this one probably a hundred, a hundred metres carry.
Now look around guys, that's over here. Lead hips out of the way. Hips have cleared here. This, this knee is moving in here, in that direction. That's gone about 105. Carrying into a very, very strong left to right wind and it didn't move at all. <clears throat> It'll feel strange guys, because even, even with the club player, when they pitch the ball or even hit a short shot, there's very little tension and that's why they get a lot of pulls and a lot of pushes and even shanks because there's no stabilisation in the body. There's just none. The, the club player just doesn't have it just doesn't have the stabilisation on a short shot. So I feel a lot of groin pressure. Very knock kneed feeling. Henry Cotton was a great ball striker and Henry Cotton was knock kneed. He tried to be like, he was pigeon toed and knock kneed. That's why he was such a, because he was so stable when he hit the golf ball. The body was just stable and the arms just swing past the body guys. The more you can stabilise the body at impact, the, the, the higher the, the, the quality of impact will be. No, no, no question about that. All right, we'll hit a full shot. I'll just hit a four iron up there with that swing. And because I haven't <laughs> used my clubs for so long, guys, they've been sitting in the garage, and um, all the uh, all the grips have gone hard and slick. I've got to change the grips tomorrow. And that's the same as the wedge shot. Exactly the same amount of of uh, pressuring, just be a slightly longer golf swing. And a longer shot. And see guys, see that finish? You get that finish because the pressure's coming this way. If I let that pressure out, I would have been here. But I'm, I'm holding that pressure here, which is keeping the shaft back here. That's gone right up to the, to the back fence and never moved. Absolutely never moved. And if you if you maintain the pressure, keep the pressure on in the backswing, keep all those those internal forces going and applying themselves, you'll feel that you'll find that your tempo will slow down as well. Because you won't have the arms flapping all over the place and the hands and even the you know, even the hips and the, the knees and everything flopping all over the place. And it'll take a lot of the flap and the flop out of the hit and, and the intention to want to use the hands. I don't feel any hands in that shot very much at all. Now, the wind behind me is almost blowing me over. See you guys, look. That's that's a that's a really fantastic golf shot. Beautiful flight, never moved, and you think it would blow it over the out of bounds fence. Hasn't moved. Okay, it shut the face down a little bit to hold it back into the wind, but it didn't move, and, and the ball flight was just exquisite, and the contact was great, considering we're hitting out of the rough. All right, I'll put a full one on this. I'll put a lot of pressure in the in the uh, in the in the stance and the stabilisation. It's nice contact. That's the good thing about golf clubs today, guys, with the bigger soles on them. They're just good for hitting out of the rough. Alright, we'll really... We'll give this one... 
the full number. As good as I can hit it, guys. Okay, that's just uh, going forward. I'll just I'll just go over the the, the finite points of the of perfecting the pivot, uh, and we'll just do it in a series of videos. Because, guys, no matter what your golf swing is, what type of golf swing you have. If you get your pivot correct and you actually use a pivot instead of a roll away, uh, your ball striking will improve. But it'll be a big change for a lot of people. A big change because if you've been a roller, you just roll into the side here, nothing's here. You've got nothing to start you back down. But when I've got all that pressure there, guys, and I roll in there, I want to go this way straight away. And we know with Hogan, I'm not flexible, so I can't do what Hogan did, but, but we know that with Hogan, we saw Hogan as he went back here, the body was moving this way as the club was still going back. And the club set itself here and he was already into the, the downswing um, uh, roll into, the, into, the, uh, into impact in the backswing. Th th this was Hogan. He was there while the club was still going back. Now, I can't do that because I'm not flexible enough. But he was enormously flexible in the midriff. But he, he was actually pressuring so much that as he got back here, it was already moving in, already moving this way while the club was still going back. And a lot of the guys do that today. I mean, guys, Rory McIlroy and those sort of guys, they're moving forward as the club's still going back because they're very flexible and they're very young. Okay, guys, I'll do more in the coming um, days or, or next couple of weeks. I'll see what, what the... Uh, sun's like and I might hit a few drivers down range if the sun's okay.